okay, I'd like to talk to you about what some textbooks, some geometry textbooks call it the segment addition postulate. Other textbooks call it betweenness of points. I just realized I'm missing quotation marks there. Go CD there a little bit. Okay, so the segment addition postulate or betweenness of points basically between you've got you've got one point that is between two other points on a segment so let's say we have point a right here and we have point b right here and we have point c right there here are three segments in this picture there is segment a b and there is segment b c and there is segment a b you got all three of those segments in this in this in this diagram. Now, um, <clears throat> if we want to know, um, well, the we don't want to know anything. This is just a property. If, if if one point is between two other points on a segment, then let's see what would we call this distance here from A to B. The name for that would be AB without the segment bar. AB is the distance from A to B. And likewise, the distance from BC would be BC. And the distance all the way from A to C, of course, would be AC. Now, suppose this distance from A to B was 8 units, and the distance from B to C was 5 units. Then I bet no one would have a problem with determining that the distance all the way from A to C would be 13 in that case. Basically, whatever the distance from A to B is, plus the distance from B to C, will equal the distance from A to C. And that's simply what this betweenness of points says. It says that whatever A, B is, ah, shucks, whatever A, B is, plus what B, C is, mm-hmm, Whatever AB is plus whatever BC is, is going to equal AC. The distance from A to B plus the distance from B to C equals the distance from A to C. Now, there are a lot of different scenarios that you could be given um, in this uh, to, to work with this. You could be given, you could be told, that AB equals, well, okay, suppose you're told that AB equals 10 and BC equals X and AC equals 15. 10 here, X here, and the total distance is 15. Doesn't take much rocket science to figure out that X would equal 5. It's how much more we need to make it, to make the whole distance 15. That distance would have to be 5. Okay, suppose we made it a little bit tougher. Suppose we made it, this is x plus 2. So AB is now x plus 2, and BC is x, and the total distance is 15. Well, the x plus 2 distance plus the x distance would have to equal 15. And you could use algebra to solve that. 2x plus 2, you can go ahead and um, 
get you some algebra, some algebra facts, but I believe x is going to end up equaling 6.5 in this case. And we could take it another step. They could, all three of those. So this could be um, x minus um, 3. No, wait, that's not going to work. How about this could be x plus 6. No, it couldn't be. Hang on. Let me pause and think about this. Okay. Suppose I may this is x minus 2. And this guy is x, and this guy is x plus 5. So that would tell us that the AB, the AB distance, x minus 2, plus the BC distance, x, would equal the total distance, x plus 5, part plus part equals the whole. So we'd have 2x minus 2 equals x plus 5. And a couple more steps to the outro will be as 2x equals 7. 7 minus 2 would be uh, 5 and 7 and 12. So that worked.